Finally, finally, now as they talk to you, they say no be small thing, now they happen inside the country. Oh. <laughs> Another heavy protest is about to break loose inside Nigeria now because of um, the threat on this um, Nigerian Labour Congress uh, president, Ajeiru, which um, the Nigerian government is uh, threatening to arrest, saying that uh, he is linked to... Uh, terrorism, this and that, blah blah blah, different stories. Even our brother, what they call on um, Shawari, have said that Nigerians will mobilize to police headquarters, others in Abuja, on August 29th to, to, to support NLC President Hajiru, demand freedom for detained and bad governance protesters. Shawari. You see, the reason why this country we have a lot of issues is because. When the answers came, everybody came out, uh, youth came out to protest them for good governance. Now, when it ended, an agreement was reached with the government to free all the detained answers protesters. I see the year Kepu Kepu that up till now, some of those protesters are still languishing in different or different detention and police stations or something like that so after that one now this end bad governance came hash and bad governance came people came out and protested as i speak to you now they say that some people are still languishing in police cells because of that end bad governance now how is it that after this protest these people will not be demanded for before the protesters leave the street. It should be a necessity that when the protest is about to end, the last demand should be, oh yeah, release all our members that has been detained, then we go home. If you don't release them, then we die here. That only we serve the interest of others. But apart of that, when you say, oh, 10 days uh, we have ended, and those captured will be in prison, then the, the remaining will go home. They will now start tweeting, release them, free them. You know, go walk. You know, go walk. So that's the only way. Or more yellow show. This is where you say when I want to mobilize, go police headquarters. And I see the fire who they go carry that day. Where they no go release again. So the last demand, whether the government answers or not, should be for those arrested because of that protest to be released. Failure to do that, we are not going home. I think that should. You know, serve the interest of the protesters. If not, <laughs> very soon people go they fear to come out and protest too. Let me play you the video where this man was condemning the the assault, which I I I call it what the police is threatening to do to this um what do you call it? To this uh, Nigerian Labour Congress uh, president Ajiru. Now let's listen to Ugochinyene Imo when he was cutting chain. On those police and um, due to her. Huh? NLC president did not commit any terrorism or murder charge. Drop it! Drop it! So you don't bring people back to the street and create confusion for the president. Sure. If you want to help President Tinubu, you go and chase out those bandits in the forest. You go and find that white crude oil you still be stolen. Bandit in the forest. See this man I brought to you the other day. Terrorists kill Sokoto traditional ruler days after appearing in video to plead for government's help. So they say this man that I showed to you the other day has been killed by those who kidnapped him. This is Nigeria for you. DSS will not invite to those terrorists. DSS and the Nigerian police will not enter the forest to go and capture those who are committing these crimes, who are taking the lives of others in this country. It is, oh, Joa Jiru, oh, it is Amoye Le Shari, oh, it is Munam uh, Dekanu, it is... Uh, this and that, blah blah blah, story. And I care. That is where you see our poli police. We have intelligence. We have this. Our antennas are working. Blah 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 blah. See, see, man, we came out on social. You people couldn't track the origin origin of that video. Now they don't buy the man. Let's continue. You don't help President Buhari by inviting Nigerian Labour Congress uh, uh, President and uh, accusing him of terrorism and murder and treason. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! There's serious issues. Stop it! If you don't know what the people are doing, they need people to leave the place. Mm -hmm. 
The president needs help. There's insecurity. People are not farming. That's why there's economic hardship. That's why price of food products are, uh, 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 produce are high. This is the real terrorism. That is the real asset. That is the real terror. That is the real uh, murder that you need to deal with. Not uh, Comrade Ajero, the president mm -hmm. of Nigerian Labour Congress. I think I have to... Uh, the country is at a, at a difficult moment now, economic challenges, security challenges. To invite one of the shining lights uh, that have been in the defense of interests of workers, interests of the Nigerian people, will be seen to be provocative and challenging. And I don't think Nigerians will want to accept that at this moment. Let's not do something that will reignite another round of um, Arab Spring or another African Spring or crisis. Because you may think you're playing with something and then you go there to do it and then workers on the street and Nigerians on the street and then this thing blows out of what you thought you were going to do with uh, inviting him. So I think this invitation is... Um, it's not, uh, there's, I, I don't see any basis for that because I know uh, Comrade Ajero very closely and I can tell you that uh, Ajero is not involved in any terrorist plot. Ajero is not involved in any terrorism plot. Ajero is not involved in any murder charge. And uh, like I said before, based on personal experience, I have been charged for murder, I've been charged for terrorism, I've been charged for arson, I've been charged for sedition, I've been charged for all these things. And uh, I can... That's why I never for one day got worried because I know these are baseless charges. These are charges that is emanating from a rule book operated by the likes of Nkruzuz of Burundi or Mobutu Seseko of Zaire or Pobia of Cameroon or Yedema of Togo and so on and so forth. I think, you know, it, it, it's provocative. We're, we're trying to find a way to maintain stability now. We're trying to find a way to navigate through these economic challenges so that uh, unrest can calm down. We're trying to find a way to, you know, to ensure that there's uh, increased revenue New and so on and so forth. I think the police force should use that energy to find out what is going with our oil production, what the oil tips are doing, what is leading to drop in the, uh, crude oil production that has affected revenue drastically, which is now increasing insecurity, terrorism, and other activities. They should focus on how to generate revenue so that the federal government can be able to pay the new minimum wage. They should focus on how to wipe out the the, 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 the bandits and the criminal elements holding different forests and different travel routes. Today, people cannot even travel on the, on the highway. So if you have a police force that knows that their hands are filled up with a lot of challenges that they have been unable to address in the last few months, and then that police force now have free time to invite the president of Nigerian Labour Congress over terrorism, over murder, over arson, over treason, I think we should not be joking with everything. Issues of terrorism, issues of murder should not be used for joke. And I would advise the police for based on personal experience. You don't do it because that degrades that that you know denigrates the police force. It's not necessary. Because I've had that personal experience. You people should not be allowing yourself to be dragged into this political issue. Police force should be meant for maintaining law and order and fighting well, for the interests of the people, do, not any do. group of people. You don't need to like my face. You can even bring new charges if you want. But what I'm trying to say in effect is that we should not joke with the Nigerian police force. We should be aiming to be like police force in Germany, police force in the, in the LPD, uh, NYPD, even Ghana police force. They don't get involved in, you know, if somebody is criticizing government, the next thing you slam him with terrorism charge. If somebody says the president's head is black, instead of white, you slam him with murder and sedition. Please stop it. So I want the police force to withdraw. And I'm, and I'm speaking and I'm saying this on behalf of the opposition coalition. I want the police force to drop their invitation. Withdraw it. Just, there's no need for all this garagara. Just withdraw it. I tell you, did not come. NLC president did not commit any terrorism or murder. Just drop it. Drop it. So you don't bring people back to the street and create confusion for the president. If you want to help President Tinubu, you go and chase out this bandit in the forest. You go and find out why crude oil is still being stolen. You don't help President Buhari by inviting Nigerian Labour Congress uh, uh, President and uh, accusing him of terrorism and murder and treason. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! There's serious issues. Stop it! If you don't know what the people are doing, the people leave the place. The president needs help. There's insecurity. People are not farming. That's why there's economic hardship. That's why price of food products are, uh, 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 produce are high. This is the real terrorism. That is the real arson. That is the real terror. That is the real uh, murder that you need to deal with. Not uh, Comrade Ajero, the president of Nigerian Labour Congress. It's not the cause of the problem. If NLC have even participated actively in the last uh, protest, there wouldn't be peace by now. 
They should even be commended for managing the process. So are you now, what are you trying to do? To cow them? This is, this is not uh, inclusive as uh, uh, Burundi or Pobias Cameroon. So we should get done with this. So as opposition, we are telling you there are serious issues to discuss. There are serious issues to deal with. So I don't, we don't want to have problem with anybody. So please, I'm urging the Inspector General of Police. He's a fine police officer. Don't let your error be known with what we used to have when uh, transmission, transmission, and all the other ones that were there. No. You are way schooled and way mannered. Don't, don't, don't get involved in that. Don't allow yourself to get involved in that. The biggest thing you can do for the president that I know you love is to find a way to energize the police force to go after all these criminal elements in different parts of the country so that our mothers can go to the farm, so that our people can travel on the highway. Christmas is coming. People may not travel. People are not even coming to the country. So there will be limited uh, FS inflow. These are things that need to be addressed. Not to invite Joe Ajero. Please, whosoever that designed that does not win, wish to be well. He just wants crisis. He just, he just wants crisis. Okay. If you want to be honest and publish the allegation of the terrorists, let's see and analyze the, your facts. Let's see the evidence. If you are proud of what you are doing, let the police publish the evidence of the allegation of terrorism against him. Let's analyze it. Because I'm talking from personal experience. If I'm not dead with you people, I've seen how you know, wicked and evil people who are supposed to defend the law can be. And how criminal also. I was charged for murder. I was charged for terrorism. I was charged for arson. I was charged for treason. Things I didn't know anything about. So I'm not proud when I see somebody of that nature being dragged the same path I know I have been to. Where are those evidences now? Because somebody somewhere did not like my face. I wanted to put me out of circulation. Our police force should have dignity. We should be, as, as we travel abroad, all of you travel abroad, you go to America, you go to, you see how decent, but, you know, even though not perfect, but you can see how decent some of these police force are. They don't get involved in maybe, opposition leader or NLC president in US or, or in Germany being charged for treason and murder. Whenever a treason charge or murder charge is preferred, the prima facie evidence is always clear. So you don't play with it. Everything must not be used for joke. And if you like the president, like I said before, you go and fix this insecurity that we can't even travel on the highway. We can't even have food. So if you don't do that, maybe future uprisings. And you leave those issues and you're chasing, who do you think you can intimidate with that? Nigeria is at a tipping moment. Any little thing, like the ground is already, you know, you know, spread with uh, gasoline. Any little thing can inflame. So we need to dust tension, not escalate it. And that's on that ground I'm saying the opposition is asking the Inspector General of Police to withdraw the, the invitation extended to the NDC president. And if there is any evidence of involvement in terrorism, publish, let us see it. Because we don't believe there's any evidence that is compelling to warrant that, other than somebody wants to intimidate him. And maybe for those who don't know, Algeria cannot be intimidated. Most of us involved in this advocacy for better strategy cannot be intimidated with those charges. It doesn't matter even if you put us 100 years in prison. It does not change anything. So please don't inflame the situation and don't escalate this crisis. So on that ground, I'm calling on the president to direct uh, the, the police force, if they are not listening clearly to me, to withdraw the invitation extended to Joe Ajero and let's stop this. All right, I believe so, and I don't see the whole matter here. I don't see it. And at the real truth, now they talk. This country where they call Nigeria, I believe they go don't do for revolution, no, but because we are playing hanky panky with it. <laughs> That's why all these things are happening. Now look at look at just, just, just take a look at look at look at this. Breaking police raid home of Nigerian labor house bookshop, bookshop owner, Drew Pover over alleged links to end bad governance protest, terrorism financing. So it is the end bad governance protest that is uh, terrorism. <laughs> That they have financed. Hi, Chineke. And look at the real terrorists here. Look at look at them. Look at them. Terrorists kill Sokoto traditional ruler days after appearing in video to plead for government help. On this is the country where ah good. Even animals are better than even animals are doing well than what is happening in this country called Nigeria. Look at it. A traditional ruler. Kai. 
I beg, Mona, help me share this video. Share this video, make it go viral. Share this video for me, I beg. We will go straight to another new. In case you want some money, go Nigeria. Please use Tap Tap Send. Now the Ubonge app we will give you accurate rate and also add money on top of your money. So if you use my promo code, which is Critics News, type it in capital letters. You are going to get free five pounds for those in UK, five euro for those in um uh what Europe. $10 for those in uh, America and uh, USA or Canada and uh, 25 ADD for those in Dubai. I beg share this video and drop your comments. Let's know your opinion. Thank you.